Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Python version version, which looks like a typo. And, uh, you know, I've used it in a bunch of scripts and a bunch of times people have made pull requests that are like, oh, this is obviously a typo, but it's not. I'm going to show you what it does. And then I'm going to show you how we can make our own command that responds in a similar way. Uh, so if you want to ask Python what version it is, you can do Python dash dash version, and it will tell you what the version is, which is great. Uh, but Python actually has a secondary version, uh, sys.version, where it tells you about uh, some of the build information, it tells you like what compiler was used with it and when it was built. Now, note this is specific to CPython. Uh, PyPy, I believe, actually shows it always all the time. Uh, yeah, PyPy always shows you the, the long version rather than just the short version. Uh, but with CPython, if you do Python 3 dash dash version dash dash version uh, and repeat the argument twice, which again looks like a typo, but uh, it actually will show that full version similar to what we get from sys.version and similar to what PyPy does by default. And of course on PyPy, if you repeat version twice, it's still going to work the same way. Um, it's not an error to repeat it more than once. Uh, but in CPython, it, it happens twice. Now, you might also want to do something like this, or maybe have some other argument that works in a similar way. And I'm going to show you how to do that with argparse. Um, we just open up a Python file, import argparse, and make our main function parser equals arg parse.argument parser. Uh, and we're going to add argument. And for the sake of this, we're going to do dash dash version. And argparse has a special action called the count action, uh, which allows you to um, specify the argument as many times as you want, and it will increment the count each time. args equals parser dot parse args. And uh, just for the sake of demonstration, we're going to implement the same thing that Python does. However, we're going to do it <laughs> in pure Python instead. Uh, raise system exit main. And uh, what we can do here is if args.version, um, that means we're going to be printing some sort of version. Let's see, if we just do one version, we're gonna get this. If we do two versions, it prints the rest of that. And what is sys.version again? Yes, okay, so we're always gonna print the string Python. Prints Python. And we can do end equals empty string. This way it will just print this part and not a new line. Otherwise it would print a new line there. And we can say if args.version is greater than or equal to two, then we will print sys.version. Otherwise uh, we will print what? There's short version? Uh, I guess not. Uh, well, we could do split zero. That's one way to do this, I guess. Uh, print sys.version dot split zero and just chop off the white space. Another way would be to find the actual major minor uh, patch versions and print those out specifically. And so this will implement our special little program here. Just for debugging purposes, I'm going to show you what happens with args.version. Uh, do a little neat uh, f string with the trailing equals. This is new in Python 3.8, which will help us debug a little bit better as well. And if we just do dash dash, well, let's just run it without anything first. Uh, oops, arg parser, <laughs> little typo there. Uh, you'll see by default version will have a value of none. You can also set the default here. I usually like to make it slightly more consistent and set default equals zero. That way, even if you don't specify it, you're still gonna get an integer Either way, that way, if you are multiplied it later, you're not accidentally multiplying by none. Uh, but now if we do version, you can see that uh, one specification of version gave us version equals one. And if we do two versions, it increments that to two and we get this uh, full output instead. And then, you know, just removing, removing the debug information again, you can see it, it works the same as CPython does. Uh, but anyway, that's version version, not a typo, as well as how you could implement your own version <laughs> your own implementation of the version argument which uh, implements a count. Uh, hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.